Hello everyone! Back in the van! Finally. Actually not finally, I've been in the van, but <clears throat> I haven't been doing anything so I haven't been filming. Um, but <clears throat> I'm picking up the camera now because I slept with all my makeup on, so... Yeah, that's what we look like today, but anyways. Um, <clears throat> I'm on call today. I'm not sick, so I don't know why I'm like flummy or something right now. I haven't really talked much today, so that might be it. Um, I'm on call today. I am in my van hangout area. <laughs> I don't like to say the area because I come here all the time, but basically I'm on call and I'm just like waiting it out. I'm on call from noon to midnight today. That's my shift. It's 12.15, <clears throat> so I keep looking. I'm good for today and tomorrow. And I'm hoping, here's my plan. I'm hoping that I don't get called today and that um, tomorrow I can either be on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. and be done at 2, or I can get a trip that gets back really early tomorrow because... I'm trying to go to Athens by myself <laughs> because guess what? Munich taught me that traveling alone is freaking awesome. And um, so I fell down this aesthetic hole um, called Coastal Grandmother. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Go on TikTok, hashtag Coastal Grandmother. Um, it's so funny and I love it. It's so like Grace and Frankie. Diane Keaton, um, who else? I don't know. Basically, like, the Hamptons. Like, anybody you picture, Reese Witherspoon. Like, the, it's kind of this beachy, like, aesthetic. I don't know. Anyways, and all of a sudden, I was like, God, I want to go to a beach. I need to be on a coast. I need to, like, whatever. And then I was like, I was going to travel with my friend Megan. Megan, I love you for watching this. But she was sick and had to reschedule um, some of her she's an esthetician so she got really sick and had to cancel appointments and since she had already taken the time off to go travel she wanted to rebook those appointments during that time um and we were kind of having a hard time figuring out where to go and um so anyways um now i have the days off i'm still i'm still looking in our open time for work because i really should work to make money even though I don't want to, <laughs> but I should. So, but I figured, look, if somebody drops a London, a Rome, an Athens, like all these we fly from New York, um, even like Barcelona or Madrid, I guess I would really like, I'm, I haven't done Madrid for years. Um, I'll pick one of those up and just do the layover, you know, they're 24 hour layovers ish. And and just like get my little travel time in them, but then like still get the hours and be able to make money. But nobody's dropping anything. So my plan is if I can go tomorrow, I'm gonna try to fly out tomorrow. And um, if I can go the next day, I'm gonna try to fly out the next day. However, the seats are like, the flights are pretty full. So as you know, as a flight attendant, I get um, some flight privileges but we only get seats if there's open seats if somebody buys the seats we don't we don't go so I think you might be able to jump seat but like I'm not trying to jump seat on like an eight to ten hour flight okay that's just not for me um the the goal is to sleep on the overnight flight all the way to wherever you're traveling to so you can just go 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 right when you get there um so in a perfect world, I'll go tomorrow night. And the other thing about this trip in particular is because I don't have a lot of money, honestly, to be perfectly, perfectly honest, I don't really have any money to be spending on this, um, but I want to do it anyways. Um, I think I'm going to do a hostel because the difference between hotels and hostels, see, I think hostel world is in euros now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, it's in euros. I could probably change it, but I don't know how. Ooh, like this one's only $18 or 18 euros. Free cancellation, 0.22 miles from city center. Free cancellation, Nubian Hostel, Athens. 
safe stay Athens. So yeah, I was looking at hotels and the hotels ranged from about $120 plus um but average to just under like two hundred dollars and i want to go to paris with antonia next month and that's where i really want to spend my money um but so this i just want to go for fun i want to go to the beach i just want to eat some good food um like nothing crazy i've never been to athens last year i did santorini and eos i think that's how you say it i think that's the island um but yeah, I've actually never been to Athens. We didn't even fly into Athens to get to Santorini. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do that. The flight is pretty cheap for me. Um, and then, yeah, the hostels, like this one even. This one's only 16 euro, and this is the one I was looking at. So this is the one I was looking at, and it looks like it has a rooftop bar. And then it's like overlooking the city and stuff. Um, and it looks really good. I mean, like, the pictures, probably they pick the best pictures, but still. And you can get private rooms in hostels, but they cost about as much as the hotels. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. Peach kombucha, huge fan. It's probably one of the best I've ever had in my life. I'm not a huge kombucha fan, and that's very, very good. Um, 45 calories, zero pretty much everything, nine carbs, brewed tea, filtered water, green tea, black tea, cane sugar, thyme, interesting, peach flavor, wonf, what does that mean, peach powder, live cultures, yeah, hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, it's really good. So I'm just gonna like, um, I was just thinking about packing for Athens cause I think I'm pretty dead set on that being where I wanna go. My van is so dirty, like just dirty. Like it needs to be legit cleaned. Oh, <sighs> and I haven't done that and it needs it really bad. <sighs> I should do that today. Actually, huh? Like it needs to be scrubbed, I think. Um, this needs to be repainted. My kitchen, it's like dirty too. But okay, first things first. What am I gonna wear if I go to Athens? So I think this white dress that I wore to Jaylena's baby shower, I really like because it's very summery, definitely beachy vibes. Um, and I feel like Greece is all about the whites, okay? Coastal grandmother. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm honestly not that obsessed with the coastal grandmother thing. I just love saying it. It's so fun. Um, so definitely this dress. And you know my one dress? Here it is. Faithful the brand dress. It's um, the sustainable. Yeah, literally it's called Faithful the brand. Um, oh, let's get my ugly nail out of there. There, Faithful the brand. I ordered it online. This is a small, I believe. It's like you can wear off the shoulder, on the shoulder, but it's puff sleeves. You've all seen it before if you've been following me since last summer. Um, that dress is my favorite travel dress ever. They're both linen, because we're all about linens in the summer. And then I have this one linen dress. That, oh, you know what? I have this dress too. This would actually be a really good travel dress now that I'm thinking about it. It's so old, it's from Forever 21. I can't even tell you the last time I stepped inside of a Forever 21. It's pretty small, <laughs> look how skinny it is, but I still squeeze into it. But this would be a really good dress, literally just for traveling because it looks nice. So if you pair it with like, um, just like a cute pair of shoes, it can look dressy, especially with like a sweater over it. So I might bring that for travel, like even day one. Like, cause I'm thinking if I, if I travel in it to Athens, then I can just like change my shoes when I get there and like go straight to rooftop bar and dinner. But like, would I want to, would I want to do that? Because maybe it would like feel gross after all that time. <sighs> and also I don't know what 
shoes to bring. I've got these sandals, which look really great, but I wore them that one day all around Brooklyn, and now they hurt. This part, like, pushes into the top of my foot, and it's, like, almost feels like I have a bruise there. And it had been days since I'd wore these. It's been, like, weeks since that Brooklyn trip. So, okay, well, I have those, and then I feel like I have a pair of like nude heels hidden somewhere in this van. I just need to find them. All right, everyone. So it has been several hours since I picked up the camera. It's like 5.30 p.m. now. And this is what I was just eating. Just vegan potatoes, broccolini, and there's some, you can't really see it, but it's like vegan chicken stir fry um, from Whole Foods <laughs> per usual because I don't cook anymore, okay? I don't, I'm, la I'm lazy. I just like to eat easy stuff. <laughs> so, um, anyways, you guys, I got rep A tomorrow, which means I'm on call from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's not looking like I'm going to get used tonight. I'm still on call till midnight. So you never know what can happen. There was a Medellin um, uh, turn in there, but I didn't know it was Medellin. So when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it gets back at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. A two day so I was like let me go bid for that so that I can be home at 7 a.m. tomorrow then I would be off the rest of the day then I'd be free to get ready to travel and all that stuff um, I looked it up and I'm gonna look it up again just to double check but um, I believe I don't need a COVID test to get into Athens but I will need one to get back into the United States so um, if everything works out and I can fly out tomorrow, that will be really, really good because then instead of flying back the day before I work, I can fly back two days before I work. And that way if anything goes wrong, I have one extra day to either get on another flight, get another COVID test or do whatever it is I have to do. Um, on the other hand, if I really want to stay another day, I have that option. So. So I'm really hoping that that works out. So anyways, long story short, back to the Medellin term. I looked at it, it's, each leg was like five and a half hours, and there was an hour and a half in between both flights. I'm like, how is that legal? <laughs> like overnight, five and a half hours each way with an hour and a half in between, that's, I'm like, that's not a turn, that is a two day trip. <laughs> so anyways, was not for me, I was very happy not to, uh, not to get that, no amount of hours would be worth it for me to do that trip. like love to be one of these people like Leone um, is it Leone Haney or did I just make that up her name is Leone but who's like this travel fashion blogger whatever but like listen if it doesn't fit my carry-on it's not coming with me so like I can bring one cute outfit with me that's pretty much it maybe two if I'm lucky. And we're wearing the same shoes every day. That's how it goes. I can't even imagine the amount of luggage some of those travel bloggers have to travel with. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
I had almost the best night's sleep last night because it was raining all night and so I just like, but not pouring, storming, it was just like continuously pitter-pattering on the roof and it was so romantic and cozy. It was very exciting. Um, I'm in a great mood today because it is 9.22, I slept a lot, a lot, a lot, which I did on purpose. I was trying to sleep through like my whole on-call shift. And so 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Okay, so I've still got five hours left. I'm still number 11 to be called. So I'm most likely not gonna get called unless I have to restaff like tons of planes. Um, which isn't likely. Let's see if Mel got called because Mel was on call 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And she had zero clicks. Oh, she did get called for a turn, I believe. Nope, maybe not. Thing, but she had like a 5 a.m. sign on. Sorry, Mel. I love you. I hope it's good. Whatever you got. Um, so anyways, yeah, very excited. So what I'm about to do now. Weird. She just texted me. That was weird. Whoa. When you're just thinking about someone and they text you. That's wild. She sent me a picture of the Taco Bell Taco Pizza. <laughs> is this a uh, coastal grandmother vibes? <laughs> this is my, um, I don't know, would you call this a nap dress? I got this dress at the Salvation Army. Let me actually see if I can put the camera here so you can actually see it. So, it's like, I wear it off the shoulder, like this. But I think you can wear it like this. The problem is I can't really wear a bra with it. But it's like maxi, I think it's a nap dress, so I feel like it'll be okay to fly in. But I wanna say that last time I wore it, it was kind of chafing. Ladies, feel me? But I like to fly with a sweater that doubles as a blanket, kind of. So I was thinking of wearing this for the flight. And then I'm gonna go to Target and see if I can get either a little white sneakers or a pair of sandals to wear for this whole trip. Um, I don't like to wear open-toed shoes on the plane, so sneakers would be ideal. I can wear those for the whole trip. But look, I w just went to Target because I needed shoes. They didn't have a single pair of tennis shoes reasonably priced in my size. So I did buy this dress from Target and um, I'm gonna wear this on the plane. So anyways, it's just got like puff sleeves, like whatever, and it's my favorite color and it's linen. I think I will be wearing that every day for like years to come. So um, that's my disclaimer on buying that. I just don't want to feel bad. Um, but I found these shoes, which are online only, so I'm going to return them. So they were on sale for... 1748 and you guys all the shoes were like $30 or more and I just like I don't have that kind of money for Target, you know, like ugh, My shoes are making it What I'm gonna try them on They're size 8. I probably could have done with a seven and a half So this is what they look like. They're just like tan colored and they're kind of adventure -y. It is kind of loose up here. So I'm hoping that doesn't bother me. But again, if I need some there i'll buy some but i just needed some literally for the way there then i'm bringing my tennis shoes too i wanted cuter sneakers to wear if i want to wear sneakers but that's all i had so this is what we're doing and these i'm either going to donate or just throw them in the trash they just don't work for me they're like so painful this part i don't know if it's this metal part that like digs into my foot but yeah those are like no fun so hopefully 
these will be better. I just need something I can like walk for a long time in and these like actually seem pretty comfy. I just found this in Target for $5. $5, these baskets and look, fits up here. Like no baskets fit up here. So I think I'm gonna go get some more and replace these brown ones. I'm starting a donation pile. I'm putting that dress I was wearing, the white one in there, that red swimsuit and I'll put all these baskets in there. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go get more. So how many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I should get eight. No, that makes eight. Um, right, I mean, is it cuter? The reason I like it is not necessarily because it's white, but because you can't see through it. And see, these look so chaotic because you can see through them, but also they're all overstuffed and they're a bit bigger. So I'm like, I'm debating. Maybe I should move stuff into one. I could just like start throwing stuff away that's in them though. That would be a good thing to do. Okay, went back and got them all. That's what it looks like. Although I only had four of the brown baskets, but five of these white baskets fit there. So I'm wondering if I should get five for this side just because of how full I stuff them. I might need the extra space, but also having an extra space for towels wouldn't be a bad idea because I do like normally struggle find having room for towels up there. So I'm already seeing stuff that can be moved like out of this area anyways. So yay, how exciting. I mean, I like how it looks. It just looks a little cleaner, right? I think. I mean, these were perfect. I needed something that fit and I'll just donate them because somebody else I'm sure would love to have these.